Hi friends, I'm so excited that you are joining me for this Christmas stitch along. This is such a fun pattern, I know you're going to love it. So let's get started and prep our hoop before we stitch. So I've gone ahead and printed my pattern on fabric. If you are not familiar with that, I will leave my tutorial above. Now I've got my 8 inch taut hoop and I'm going to remove the outer hoop from the inner hoop. And I've got an extra layer of fabric which is important when you are doing watercolor to have the extra layer just in case. So I've got the largest hoop with the screw on the top of my fabric and then I'm going to put the inside hoop on the back. And you probably won't have this problem if you got one of my kits but I'm using an extra piece of fabric and it's a little bit shorter so I had to pull it quite a bit. One of the most important parts to ensure smooth stitching later on is making sure your hoop is taut. Which is why I created my brand taut hoops because they are the best so I'll link those below if you don't have them I suggest tightening them as much as you can with a screwdriver and then making sure your fabric is taut in the hoop as much as possible getting out all those little wrinkles and making sure both layers of fabric are in straight and that there's no bunching so you should have something that looks like this I've also taken my pinking shears and trimmed away the extra fabric now I've got my watercolor, so you'll want to make sure that your watercolor palette is dried before you get started. So I'm using Winsor & Newton watercolors, I've got them linked below in the description. And it typically takes 24 to 48 hours for them to dry. And then you can grab a watercolor brush. I've got a variety here. I'm going to use kind of a pointed tip. In the kits, I included a medium flat tip brush. Now I'm going to dip my paintbrush in the water and bring a couple droplets back. First starting with Chinese white. And I used it before with another color. That's why it's a little bit gray right now. Now I'm going to bring it over to the cerulean blue hue and bounce over to the turquoise so I can get a nice little mix of color here. And then going back to the white. And now I'm adding some gray. The most important thing is to make sure you don't make it too dark. If the paint is too dark it's going to be really hard to see the pattern underneath once it dries and we are using a darker shade than I would normally use so it's already going to be a little difficult to use but I've got something that will help us in the next step once the paint is all dry. So I'm just repeating that process of grabbing a little bit of each color so just dipping it back into that paint's gray, adding some more water and then you really just want to make sure you don't have too much water on your brush at one time and this will just help prevent the watercolor from bleeding to other areas of your fabric. And it does soak in rather quickly so you do want to make sure to spread it around as much as you can while it's still wet. If you want another example of watercolor and what will happen if you use too much water, I have a video I'll link above for intro to watercolor with embroidery. Once you are satisfied with the color sky that you want, you're going to leave your embroidery hoop out for about three to four hours. You can leave it for a whole day. Just make sure you don't start on the next step until it's completely dry.
So like I told you before, it's a little bit hard to see our pattern beneath. So I'm going to take my heat erasable pen and just trace through the layers and trace on top of my watercolor that's all dry, just so I can see the fabric a little bit better when I'm stitching. And I usually don't use watercolor shades that are this dark, but I really wanted like a gray moody sky for this piece and I feel like it turned out perfect with all the colors I used. So it was worth having to trace all this on. So once you're finished, you should have something looking like this. And now we're going to get started on stitching. So I will meet you in the next video.